here, Tots. Oh, welcome if you're new in. It's your girl, Tati, back at it with another video. This video is going to be a wash day. I'm not going to take y'all in the shower with me, but I'm just going to go through the little process, tell y'all what I used, everything like that. So let's get into this video. This is my hair. I had an afro yesterday. I just threw a bonnet on. Went to sleep, so this is how it's looking. If you wanted to rock this, you would just, you know, pull it out. You would just pull it out, fluff it out, and that'll be it. Not really much of a problem. But yeah, my hair has not had a deep conditioning or actual wash in a very long time. So I'm about to do that to my hair. Well, it had a deep condition, but it hasn't had an actual wash in about a month. I've done co-washes, so I don't think my hair is that dirty. We're going to be trying out a few new products, such as this, which I've used a little bit. This is the um, Garnier Fructis Buttercream. I've used it a little bit, haven't used it for a wash and go. And the Infamous with Line Extreme. I will also be using rice water and... Um, some oils that I picked up, which is this oil for specifically. So we have quite a few new products we're gonna be trying. So we have quite a few new products that we're gonna be trying out. I'm tired of talking, so let me go ahead and fix this rice water. It's been sitting for about two days. Let me go ahead and put it in a spray bottle, wash my hair, and I'll be back. I washed my hair with the Ozzy Moist shampoo, and I deep conditioned with the Ozzy Moist um, Three Minute Miracle deep conditioner. So now I'm going to put the rice water in my hair. And I'm doing this a little differently than I would usually do because I'm using the rice water as a protein treatment. And usually when I do my homemade protein treatments, I will put that on my hair before and then shampoo and condition or shampoo, put it on my hair, then condition because I really don't like the smell of it. But I decided to use this, I guess, how you're supposed to use this. Um, Let me start spraying on my hair. Let me see how I feel in my hair. Yeah. Okay, the smell is not, the smell is not as bad as people make it seem, but it's definitely a smell there. And I sprayed a few sprays of this peppermint tea tree oil in it, and I thought that it would help it, but no. It's not as extreme as people make it seem, but it definitely smells like socks. It definitely smells like dirty socks. But in the thing, I don't know what's going on. Let me spray a little bit more in here. Because in the bottle, it smells like tea tree oil. Probably because the oil is rising. I sprayed quite a bit of that um, oil in there. And it still just smells like gym socks. It does not, it does not change. I don't like the smell. It definitely smells like gym socks. But I do like the shine, I guess, it's giving my hair. But I feel like it's because my hair is wet. It's giving it this shine. It was not what I was expecting when I tried it. Um, when I felt it, I know when I watched Miriam, I think is her name. When I watched hers, she said that it felt kind of serumy. And I think, oh, what's that girl name? I might have to link her down below. You just had a baby. I can't remember her name. But I watched somebody's else video as well. And they said that it feels kind of serumy. And I don't know if maybe it's because it kind of looks... Let me see if it's a difference. I guess it's kind of a difference. Um, both of those people said that their hair kind of felt similar. It felt, it kind of felt like a hair serum, but for me, it just feels like water. It doesn't feel like anything special. That might be because I only left it in for two days instead of like three days, how some people do it. But I feel like three days was enough. I know some people say that they use this as a refresher spray, and I'm just gonna say I would never. I would never use this to refresh my curls. I thought about it, that's how I thought I was gonna use it. Like, because of how it was described, it kind of being like a water thing, and I always, I'm always refreshing my hair, always spraying my hair. I thought that this would be perfect, but because of the smell, I could never see myself using this daily. Who was calling me? My hair is cute like it's defined it's shiny and it's not like 
my face is dripping but it's not defined and shiny in the way um that it usually is it's a little different my hair looks much more darker because my hair usually looks brown i mean it looks black when it's wet but it doesn't look as like blue black like i put you know how when people put black down their hair how their hair looks that's kind of how my hair is giving the vibes my hair is giving me and it doesn't give me this when i just have water on my hair i'm about to put a shower cap on but uh, my lavender essential oil smells more like tea to me than it does lavender so i feel like this is gonna smell like tea so i have my i have my cap on I'm letting it sit. I'm going to let it sit for an hour. And after that, I'm going to come back to y'all and tell y'all what I think. I have about this much water left. It was completely full when I first used it. So I think that out of the batch of rice water I made, I'm going to get two uses out of it, which is pretty good. And I mean, I really use much more rice water than I needed. So I might get a little extra use out of it, maybe three. But all right, I'm going to come back to y'all in an hour after I take this out. Really, I might only leave it in for 20 minutes because my hair... I put on my cap, I started putting it on around 145 or so, and now it's 221. So do that math there. Um, my hair doesn't look much different. It's pretty strong. I don't feel anything miraculous yet, but let me rinse it out and then come back to y'all. I just wanted to show y'all how my hair looked before I rinse it out. Very shrunken. I can already say that the shrinkage is real, which is not necessarily a bad thing. That means my hair is, you know. It has elasticities coming up and all of that. Some of y'all might be like, why do you have a towel on? You're not supposed to dry your hair with a towel. My hair is dripping wet and it is annoying me. So I just put it up in this towel to let it dry some. And I know it dries your hair out a little bit, all of that. It's not like I'm rubbing my hair. I'm just putting it on here to soak up all of that moisture because I'm, I'm over it. Not like perfect elasticity, but I have elasticity. My hair feels weird it doesn't feel as moisturized as my hair usually feels but it doesn't feel dry either it doesn't feel dry it feels very strong actually i won't say my hair is like it kept that shininess or darkness that i was talking about before yeah my hair is a little darker than it usually is but i don't really see the shine and all of that factor what i did notice though is my curls up here are much more defined than they have ever been. This is my, this section right here is my frizzy prone area. It's like the loosest of the curls, but it's also like, I don't have no act right. And my curls in this section, baby, are popping tons. Let me see if I can zoom you all in. I cannot see no type of definition. Let me pull one of the curls out and maybe y'all can see it better. I'm horrible at this, y'all. I'm so horrible at this. I'm sorry, but y'all see that little definition? My curls do not do that. It's usually like in the front. Let me show you a more frizzy section that I messed up. It's like that. My curl does not pop like that. Okay, guys, I lost some of my footage, so I'm just showing y'all how my hair turned out. This is from another video. If y'all want to watch that, go ahead and look at that. But, you know, this is the end, so go ahead. And subscribe and grow with your girl. And I really, really, really hate adjusting my camera because your setting is just. I have a man. I have a manual focus camera, so I really hate changing my settings because they don't. They don't do 